Let's it go. He's got three people down there. The ball's up in the air. Caught. Touchdown. Caught by Westbrook for a touchdown. Incredible. Hey, hey, to be in this end zone right now with Michael and Cordell and the rest of the Buff family, I mean, right there, it all happened. You know, Cordell launched that bomb, 65 yards. Special, special time right now for me. I know it would be kind of rude to walk over to the spot and start pointing at it where it all happened. But, you know, two things happened. One touchdown for me right here. One touchdown for Rashawn right here. One touchdown for me over there in the corner. This was an awesome place, man. It's for us, you know, mentally, it was it was awesome. It's a good thing. We won an SB over it. Um, Sports Illustrated. You know, good times, go. good days. Welcome once again to the uh, big house here in Ann Arbor, Michigan. It's a Buffalo Stampede. Mark Johnson, I, I think you know who this guy is. He's got a little notoriety here around Ann Arbor. He had a pass uh, back in 94, I understand, it was pretty big. Can you possibly even walk around here without somebody saying something about the miracle of Michigan? I was walking from the uh, parking lot trying to get here to you, and uh, a lot of conversation going on, I will say. A um, few eyes being turned, a few cut uh, eyes, but overall it was, it was a warm reception, and I think everyone's really excited about uh, what's about to take place today. Our team in Colorado is playing really good right now up until this point, uh, having the energy that we hadn't had uh, for some time when it comes to this group of guys under Coach McIntyre. But, you know, you have a Hallbar team on the other side that's really playing for something and, and, and really has the eye, have their eyes on the prize. So it's great to be here. Never been here in this forum. Uh, but at the same time, it's, it's bring back fond memories and uh, wasn't too long ago a great play was made in the stadium, so I'm kind of excited about no that. No doubt about it. Not like I need to, but Cordell Stewart, I didn't say his name for goodness sakes. How often do you get asked about that play back in 94? All the time, man. Whether it's Michigan State, uh, whether it's uh, Ohio State, you know, I've become an honorary member of those institutions uh, because of the favor that they say I've, I've given them uh, to actually beat the team uh, that they actually is an arch rival, rival against them. So it, it's talked about all the time in airports, uh, even when I was at ESPN working, doing NFL work, all the time. You know, went back to school, graduated, got my degree this summer. Uh, a lot of people talk about it then. Looking forward to this game. Asked me was I coming, and, and I am here. By the way, congratulations on the degree. That's outstanding. Fans love to reminisce about these plays. They help them to take them back. Take us back to September 24th, 1994. You're on the field, last second, in the huddle. What's going on out there? Well, you know, let me take them back to a series before, a couple series before. I fumbled the ball going into the end zone. And I came to the sideline, and Rick Neuheisel, who was my quarterback's coach at that time, was like, don't worry about anything. You know, just stay focused. It's going to be the greatest comeback in college football history. I remember it like it was yesterday. So we go down and run the option with Rashawn Salam. We score. Uh, before you know it, we sit down on the sideline again. He comes back to me. He says, remember, stay ready. Just to stay, keep me focused. Be the greatest comeback in college football history. Lo and behold, they go one, two, three, and out. Because if they get a first down, game's pretty much over once they get the ball. You know, uh, we get the ball, and... Well, you know it, Chris Hudson, fair catches the punt, uh, throw an in cut to Mike, down the ball, we go to the sideline as if we have a few plays to run. We only have six <laughs> seconds left on the clock. Coach Newhouse was like, where are you going? I'm like, what are we running? He's like, are you kidding me? I'm like, oh, my bad. I'm so caught. I was so caught in the matrix. I mean, what do you do, right? And so uh, I get in the huddle, and I see Brian Stoltenberg, Chris Nioli, Heath Irwin, Tony Birdie, Derek West, Rashawn, Blake Anderson. Uh, you know, Chris, uh, we have Michael Westbrook as well as Ray Carruth. And everybody's looking at me as if it's the first play of the game because the energy is so high and everybody's so, you know, tears are in the eye of guys. Rashawn is praying, you know, and before you know it, I call the play. I say, just give me time. And I get to the line of scrimmage. There's only three rushes coming. I'm like, this might be pretty darn good. And lo and behold, Rashawn and Tony Birdie does their job on the left side to the left end and I just let it go as far as I could, and, and my guy, Michael Westbrook, comes up with one of the greatest catches of all time, and, and the rest is history. Did, did you know he caught it right away? Because, I mean, you're so far away. What did you know, and what did you see at that time? Well, when I threw the ball, my, my thing was was wanting to get it there. I knew I had the arm because we would practice that every other week or every week back at home in Colorado, but we were doing that in the altitude. But to do it this last play of the game was something that I, I, I didn't register until afterwards. And so when I, when I threw the ball, I saw the ball get tipped. And all of a sudden, I saw this body come out of nowhere. I mean, from my left, literally. And he catches the ball, and I see the ref throws his hands up. Ray Carruth jumps out of his socks. Coach Max trying to get on the football field. It's like pandemonium on, at his highest levels. And I'm like, wow. So you see me sprinting. If you watch it on television, you see me sprinting downfield. Now, mind you, I was cramping before that actual series took place of plays to get us to the Hail Mary Pass. And so 
whatever cramp I thought I had, it was gone instantly <laughs> once Mike caught the ball and got down there and wanted to celebrate, man. And, uh, everybody was really exhausted because on the plane ride back home, there were some people laughing and giggling, but there wasn't too much rah-rah going on on the plane going back because I think everybody was really exhausted because it was a game that was really – uh, 60 minutes, like it was a true definition of a 60-minute game played by a bunch of kids uh, that just really trying to have some fun and win, and we did. One of the greatest plays, not only in college football history, in sports history. Great catching up with you, man. Thank you much. All right, Cordell Stewart, we're going to continue, continue talking about this big trip for the Buffaloes at the Big House as we uh, come back here in the Stampede.